what's up guys welcome back so for this video i'm not really sure where i'm going with it it's just gonna be like a little vlog but you guys can tell by my voice i'm still really sick i mentioned in my last video that i was pretty sick at the end and i thought it was just gonna be a few days it's been a couple more days and i'm still sick and it's horrible literally it's so horrible like this is the worst time for me to get sick like not only am i seven months pregnant but i just moved into a new house like we have a ton of stuff to do around the house we already took a week and a half off of youtube for the holidays so i really don't want to take any more time off of youtube and like social media and stuff like i have i'm so behind in not only work but housework and I just don't feel cute, I don't feel good, and it's just a mess. We flew into LA two days ago, and I've just been in bed, like lounging around the house for the past two days, not really getting any work done. And you guys know when you're sick and you don't like be productive, you don't go out and do stuff, you just end up feeling more sick and more sluggish. So this morning I got up, I forced myself to get ready and go to the grocery store. So we're like, we obviously don't have any food, we've been out of town for like over two weeks. And you know when you're sick, like you don't really have much of an appetite, which is bad for me right now because I have a whole human in here I need to feed and I just like don't have an appetite at all. The only thing I slightly want is my homemade chicken noodle soup you guys have seen that recipe on my instagram highlights and so many of you guys have done that recipe and loved it so many of you guys have actually tried that recipe i put on my instagram highlights and you guys loved it so much so i thought i still get dms like Nas, can you repost the recipe repost the recipe it's in my highlights but a lot of people seem to miss it so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and make that and film it and I'll have it in a YouTube video as well, so it'll be easier for people to find. And then at 1 o'clock, it's 11 right now, but at 1, we have someone coming to install the wallpaper in our master bedroom, which I'm really excited about. And that's basically my plan for today. I'm just hoping that I feel a lot better. I finally got on the phone with my doctor this morning, and she said it's okay for me to take Robitussin. So I'm going to buy some Robitussin while I'm out here. And then she also told me to get a humidifier as well, so... I need to buy a humidifier too. She told me I it might take up to two weeks for like all of my symptoms to clear, but I'm like two weeks. <laughs> you know when you're pregnant, your immune system is like a lot lower. But anyways, I pulled up to Ralph's, so I'm about to go and do some grocery shopping, and then I'll see you guys later. Hey guys the wallpaper is up it looks so good and obviously bed we bought like new sheets and like new pillows and everything so we have to put all the new sheets on so we just like whatever threw everything on there but I love this wallpaper this is the one I got from Amazon that I showed you guys a few videos ago it has such a nice texture look at it up close I think this will look really good too once we add a chandelier. I for sure want to add a light fixture right here. And I think at night when like the chandelier is on and it like reflects off of the wallpaper, it's just going to look so pretty in here. But I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'll link down below to the um, wallpaper on Amazon for you guys if you're interested. While that guy was installing the wallpaper, I went ahead and unpacked my luggage, which I'm so happy about. So it's all nice and clean on this floor. Like my suitcases were all over this floor. So this was definitely the most productive I've been in like two weeks. So I'm really happy. Luggage is unpacked, wallpaper is up. I'm just gonna head downstairs and start working on the soup. So I shredded up some of the rotisserie for the soup that I'm making, but it was just such a big chicken that I definitely didn't need all that chicken for just the soup. So for the other half, I'm just gonna be making my favorite like chicken salad. I've showed you guys how I made this in a few videos in the past, and it's really easy to just take shredded chicken. I just like to put some Greek yogurt, avocado oil, mayo, um, some seasonings. I like using garlic salt, pepper, Frank's Red Hot. 
um, this Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute and salt free lemon pepper mrs dash so i'm just gonna combine that all together so i'm not like wasting all this chicken you know and then we can start on the soup so i just finished up the chicken salad it looks so good so this tastes so good with some crackers or on top of bread like a whole wheat like roll um not a roll like a tortilla so i'm just gonna pop that in the fridge and by the way i want to show you guys these mixing bowls i got i got this set of mixing bowls from amazon as well i'm gonna link to them down below too but here let me show you guys they come in a set of a bunch of different sizes and they have this like silicone non-slip grip at the bottom they're really really nice so i'm gonna put a link to these down below too for you guys okay so i'm about to get started on the soup and here are all the ingredients that you're gonna need really really simple it's just your basic um you know soup ingredients so i like to just buy these like soup starters they have them at ralph's kroger um they have them at what's it called trader joe's so it just comes with the celery carrots and onions already chopped for you which is really convenient so i just like to do that but if not just get some onions some carrots and some celery and then i'm just going to use some butter so i typically just use this Kerrygold butter but i saw this while i was shopping earlier and this is the garlic herb butter, so I thought this would add a lot of great flavor to the soup. So I'm gonna put this whole stick in there and then a little bit more of just the regular butter. And then you're just gonna need chicken broth. So I like to do low sodium free range chicken broth. So I'm making a lot, so I got two of the broths and then we're also gonna add water. Then this is optional, but I like to pour a little bit of this Mrs. Dash marinade. It's salt free and it's garlic herb, so it adds a lot of great flavor too. So for the seasonings, you're gonna need pepper, salt, this is bay leaves, and then also some thyme, some, cal what is this, caldo de pollo. We're gonna use some of this too. And I know this is not that good for you, so I only use a little bit, but it just adds such a great flavor, so I like to use that. Um, and then we also have our rotisserie chicken. Um, I like to use these egg noodles. We also have some olive oil. Hold on, I'm missing a few things. I still need, we need to add some garlic and then also you're gonna need some rosemary. And then also we're gonna add parsley and lemon to the very end, so you're gonna need that too. Okay, so so far in my pot, I have that butter with the herb and garlic heating up as well as I'm adding a little bit of olive oil too because I am doubling up this recipe than I usually do, so. All of our vegetables, and I went ahead and minced a uh, whole garlic with my garlic press. So I'm just gonna put that in there. So you just wanna cook up the vegetables until they get translucent. That usually takes like a few minutes. Like probably like three to five minutes. You just wanna let that cook together. And by the way, the whole time I've had this on medium heat. So now I'm gonna add some seasonings. I'm adding the Trader Joe's thyme seasoning. Also adding some Himalayan pink salt. Some of that garlic herb marinade. Not too much though. Oh, I can't open it. Perfect timing, can you open it? Can you smell it? Guys, literally my nose is so congested, I can't smell anything. I'm like, Mel, can you smell? Like, does it smell good? He's like, it smells really good. What? Also adding some black pepper too. So now I'm gonna add the cartons of chicken broth. So I'm gonna add two. I'm gonna 
shake it up as best as I can. Also gonna pour in some water. At this point is when I'm gonna add this seasoning, but again, as good as it tastes, it's really not that good for you. So I'm just gonna put like that much. <laughs> it's kind of a lot. I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil. So at this point, you're gonna add your bay leaves and your rosemary. So you're gonna boil this in the soup but you're gonna take it out before you serve it. So I'm just gonna put two bay leaves in there, as well as some rosemary. So after I let the soup boil for a little bit, I'm gonna add the noodles. So I'm adding two cups of the egg noodles. Actually, you know what, let's do three cups because I feel like three won't be enough. I'm on FaceTime with my mom. She's like watching me do this. Do you miss me, Mom? I miss you a lot, a lot, a lot. Aw. Do you want to come to LA? I can buy you a ticket. Also gonna toss in the chicken as well. So the noodles only need seven to nine minutes to cook. So that's how long we're gonna cook the soup. So here is the finished soup. So before you serve it up, make sure you guys add a squeeze of lemon juice. Then also you can top it with some parsley to make it look all fancy. But that's it. Super easy to make. Really? I was like, I want this, but I don't have a price. And the girl like showed it to the other, to one of her coworkers, and she was like, one ninety nine. Two dollars? Wow, guys, Mel picked this up at the thrift store for $2. The oh king God. of the thrifty. Oh, this is perfect for the man cake. I got all those clothes. Lit day, very lit day. <laughs> Roxanne, you're so cute, pretty girl. What's up, guys? Last stop of the night. We are going into Bed Bath & Beyond real quick. They close in 20 minutes, so we need to hurry up. But I have a gift card from our baby shower, so I decided to come here to get our humidifier and I have that 20% off like they always have 20% off so we're about to go inside to grab that the humidifier decided on hopefully I can breathe tonight <laughs> and then Mel got a coffee machine down there Mel wants a classic coffee machine so we got a Mr. Coffee Throwing away the Keurig. Yeah, the Keurig is going to the trash, guys. We're done drinking water. water. <laughs> Just hooked up my new humidifier. Looks really good. I, I'm glad I went with this one as opposed to the other one. I like the shape of it more. I like how it's like um, a little bit more vertical and like skinnier. Let me show you guys the wallpaper at night because it looks a little bit different at night and I really like it. Looks so good. So there's the wallpaper. I'm just going through this box. So I got um, some nursing bras from Amazon that I'm trying on right now. And then I also picked up some dresses for my LA baby shower. So these are from Revolve. Um, I have a few I need to try on because I actually have this, um, I don't know if it's like a program or whatever, but you can actually order two dresses, like two of the same dresses in different sizes. And if you return it within 15 days, they won't charge you for the other dress. So that's really cool because like I wasn't sure if I was a medium or a large. So it's really great that I can try on like both sizes and they have like a return label for you. So it's really great. So I'm gonna try that on too. And these nursing bras that I found on Amazon, I feel like this whole video is just me talking about Amazon, but they actually fit so good. 
So here is that nursing bra that I just showed you guys. Um, so it came in an order of three. So it has a hook right here for like breastfeeding and stuff. And I really like it. It fits really good and it's really comfortable too. And it has pads as well. And guys, I'm 30 weeks and four days today. In a few days, I'll be 31 weeks. Here's my bump. Super cute, we're almost there guys, nine weeks. A lot of the girls that I watch on YouTube who are pregnant, they ended up having their babies at like 38 weeks. So just think about 38 weeks, like I'm literally six, seven weeks away from giving birth. Like, bro, what? Like I don't even, oh my gosh, like I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared to give birth. Like I'm, I don't know what to expect everybody's you know birthing experience is different some people are like it's so relaxing it was so calming it was so easy and then other people are like it was hell like i thought i was gonna die so i hope i'm the first one <laughs> but yeah guys shit's getting real shit's getting real what's up guys today is the next day i was actually just gonna end the vlog last night but i had to update you guys on that humidifier that i got yesterday Oh my gosh, this morning was the first morning in like a week that I actually could breathe, right babe? Yeah. Like Mel was even like shook too. Like last night was the first night in a week that I was able to sleep without my mouth open, like through my nose. Like, like I was able to breathe through my nose. It was amazing. Highly recommend you guys all get a humidifier, especially live in, if you live in a dry climate area. It was a lifesaver last night, but um, I got up pretty early this morning because the designer who's doing like, we're doing like custom entertainment centers upstairs and downstairs. We're also redoing our master closet completely. I'm also doing a purse shelf. So we're doing a lot of custom shelving in the house. So I met up with the designer this morning that took a, a, like a few hours just to finalize everything and like payment and everything. So I'm really excited about that. We decided to start production um, early April so we can have a little bit of time after the baby's here before we start doing construction in the house. So yeah, that's going to be coming up too. We have a lot of home improvement projects going on. So really excited about all of that. But now Mel and I need to head to our meeting. So I want to show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing because it's really cute. It's really cute and casual. So I'm wearing that white bodysuit I showed in my last um, lighting is not prime. Kind of hard to show the fit with the lighting, but I'm wearing that white um, bodysuit that I showed in my last Windsor haul. Looks really cute with the belly. And I'm just wearing this Gucci scarf, maternity jeans. These are from... Um, what are these from? I think these are Paige Denim maternity jeans. And then we also have these boots from Sam Edelman, but I got them from Nordstrom Rack on sale. And then I'm wearing my JBW watch. So that is the fit. So we need to get going, but I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you decide to try out my chicken noodle soup recipe, make sure you guys send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I'd love to see it. And oh, by the way guys, last night, I actually became an Amazon influencer because I noticed I kept on saying like, I'm gonna link this on Amazon, I'm gonna link this on Amazon. So Amazon actually has a program for influencers, which is really cool. I signed up, they approved me like right away. So I now have like a little storefront on Amazon. I'll put a link to it under all my videos from now on. And pretty much if I buy something from Amazon and I love it, I'm gonna link it straight to my storefront so you guys can shop straight from there. I have like five, categories on there right now i have home decor i have bedroom essentials pregnancy essentials fitness essentials beauty must-haves like i just have it all organized right now i don't have too much on there but i'm definitely just like as i start purchasing more and more from amazon in this new house if i like it is going on there so make sure you guys check for that link down below but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again for my next video bye guys